morning, everyone. It is actually Friday today. Yesterday, I vlogged, and the first half of the day, I thought it was Friday. And I was like, okay, tomorrow I'm gonna go grocery shopping and do all these like, Saturday things. And <laughs> halfway through the day, I was like, hold on. It's not Friday. Today is actually Friday. I do have a little fact, not factor, fresh meal plan box coming today, which, where's my phone so I can check the delivery? So I don't know if I'll actually go grocery shopping this weekend, because I'm, pr well, no, I actually probably need to go because I need like orange juice or lemonade or something for my collagen juice. And I have like no sheets on my bed because I'm washing the sheets. So oh, I like that. I like some of the cool like iPhone things you can do. I'm just so like, I'm not learning that. <laughs> but when someone else uses it, I'm like, that's cool. But I want to check my, oh yeah, I uploaded like uh, late last night. I uploaded just like a day in my life of the same day that I uploaded, which I wanted to do, but I wanted to do it earlier. Like I wasn't planning on uploading at like 10 p.m. I was thinking about like 6 p.m., but I kept vlogging and then um, editing and getting distracted and working. So I was like, okay, but I still wanted it to go up on Thursday. So I just uploaded it late. But anyway, let me not get distracted again. Let's check this package and see where it is. I also feel like I have something else coming in the mail. I don't know why, but it feels like I do. I probably don't. I shouldn't. <laughs> Let's see. Do, do, do. They sent me the it's shipped email. I should have added it to my little tracker thing. Oh, yeah. Let me do that right now. Copy. Oh, well... Yeah. I use like the shop app to add packages because it'll alert you when it's shipped, out for delivery, and delivered, which I really appreciate so I don't have to check like multiple different apps and stuff for packages. So I'm actually going to add it, even though it's going to be delivered today, I'm still going to add it. And I'm excited because I think I got all new meals. Because every week they have like the staple menu, but then they also add in a few new meals. And I haven't used them in a while, but I got them, not last week, the week before. Because I got a coupon. Y'all know I love a good like, meal kit coupon. And I was like, oh, these are good. Especially like working from home if I just want to grab something to eat. So it doesn't really, I don't need to do like the 12 pack like I was doing when I was working my corporate boss girl job. <laughs> now I'm a work from home boss girl. Or no boss girl. Maybe I'm just a girl who wants to live freely. But anyway, let's make my collagen juice. And I really don't know where the day is going to take me or us. Uh, maybe it'll just be like a weekend vlog, weekend or Friday, Saturday vlog and upload Sunday or maybe all three days. We'll see. I gave the cats wet food this morning. So they're on like cloud nine right now. They're like, what is happening? Is today a special day? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, it's Friday. So funny enough, I measured out eight ounces of water and put it in here so I could like have an idea of what it is so I don't have to like measure it and then pour it in here and mix it because that defeats the purpose. There's actually a little like dot in here and I tried wiping it away to see if, you know, it was just, I don't know, a little dirt or something. No, it's just like ingrained in the bowl. It's exactly where eight ounces of like water, orange juice, any type of liquid would stop at. I just got so stinking lucky with that. So that's how I was able to do it yesterday. And that's how I'm gonna do it today. So we have enough orange juice for today. I'm not sure about tomorrow, but tomorrow I'll go grocery shopping. So worst case, I'll just have my collagen juice later on, honestly. I'm just in a great mood this morning, if you can tell. Went to bed not early, but like earlier than 3 a.m. <laughs> so that helped. And I woke up at like 8.40. Actually, 8.48, if I remember correctly. And that's nice. I just give my body what it needs, and it changes on a day-by-day -day basis. Some days or nights, I want to stay up till 4 a.m. and wake up at 10 and knock the day out. Other times I want to go to bed at like 12 because I think honestly that's the earliest I've been going to bed. It's like 12, which is not that great. And this is all mixed. Oh, yeah. Ooh.
Is it a bird? <laughs> I just unboxed all of the meals that I got from Fresh Meal Plan. I also got brownies. I've never gotten one of their add-ons before, but they have these paleo brownies, so I got those, and I think it's about six of them. So here I have, this is the blackened mahi-mahi, and then here I have, this is oven roasted fish and chips, and then here I have the chicken salad wrap. This is the peach barbecue chicken thighs, if it'll focus, there we go. Little salad here, and then the chicken thighs, and then this is their like brisket, yeah, barbecue brisket sliders. And then I also have their steak with sweet potato. This one's kind of more like clean and just simple steak, green beans, and sweet potatoes. And then the brownies. Yeah, that's it. I'm gonna put these away and I have some work to do. I was actually on a meeting um, right after I put you guys down for about an hour and a half. So I have some work to do. And you guys know like Fridays are kind of like my busier days. So yeah, let's get a move on. I have no idea how long this will actually last. But I moved my desk and my chair out into the hallway, like this blank wall area. I had it in the bedroom in front of the window, which was really nice because of the natural light. But I like working out in the living room kitchen area just because I'm out here with the cats and the cats don't go in my room. So it's, I feel kind of like closed off in my room when I'm at my desk working. But the only thing is I really don't want the cats to scratch this chair. And I love them, but they will scratch this chair. You know what I mean? And I don't want that. So that's the only thing that kept me from moving it out here. And obviously I don't wanna to have to like bring the chair into my room every day because I feel like that's insane. But I don't know, I really don't know. And then I was thinking about putting it like in that corner, but the cat's litter box is there and I kind of like it there because it's kind of like hidden. You know, like you can obviously see it when you turn the corner, but just looking this way, you don't see it. And I think that's nice. It gives them the little like corner to, and it's kind of actually like roomy over there. But this is kind of where I have this. And at both the desk, like tiny little desk and the chair are from Amazon. I'll link them both down below. I've had them for a few weeks, maybe a month or two. And I've used it. It's just, of course, I kind of like working out in the open because then I can go and get coffee, like just turn around and get coffee, grab something to eat. I don't have to like, because I don't really eat in my room. So, you know, if I'm hungry, I have to come out here. But if I'm in the middle of something, then, you know, I end up just not eating. And I'm like, oh, it's fine. I'll just, you know get up and eat in a few minutes and then it turns into hours and then I'm cranky. So I was thinking maybe out here, it's just, the only thing I'm worried about is the chair. The cords and everything I'm not worried about. These two have never messed with cords. I just, they just don't. And I'm lucky and very thankful that they don't, but they will scratch this chair. So I don't know, I really don't know. This is my lunch. I'm gonna have the little chicken salad wrap from Fresh Meal Plan. I added a little side of ranch. I had this ramekin that had the sushi sauce from my poke bowl. I just rinsed it out and added ranch. And then I added some tortilla chips on the side. This looks so good. It looks like an adult Lunchable, like actually like filling. <laughs> I'm really excited. So it has carrots, the little, I forgot what it is, like a PB&J protein ball bite thing. And then the chips I added and then the two halves and the ranch, but this is my adult Lunchable. I'm gonna sit at my desk and do some work and I'll actually be able to eat and work and not have to like, you know, make a mess of the island, which I'm trying to keep clear because my stuff on the island gets crazy. So I'm trying to leave the island for just like eating and then, you know, my desk for, I guess, eating and working. So I'm gonna have this little Zoa Cherry Limeade. I had the Tropical Punch last week. I got these from HEB, it was like three for five. A Cherry Limeade, Tropical Punch, and then Strawberry Watermelon. The Tropical Punch was actually really good. So I'm excited to try the Cherry Limeade. I actually really like these. They're sparkling and 12 ounces. Usually I get the V8 still energies that are eight ounces, but a sparkling alternative, these are good because the V8 sparkling, they're okay, but I don't think I would rebuy them. I think the V8 still just knocks it out of the park, but these ones are really good for sparkling. I also still wanna try the Celsius Coke flavor because it just sounds cool, but yeah, I'm gonna have this with my lunch and work.
it's like 5 37 and i'm pretty much done for the day i got all the work well not all of it there's some stuff i'm gonna work on tomorrow but i got some of the like oh the bigger tasks i have longer tasks to do like i have to start some campaigns tomorrow but i'm happy that i knocked some things off of my to-do list my task list and then i have some content scheduled out for tomorrow and sunday so on that forefront i'm good so i can kind of you know stay off my phone this weekend if I need to or if I want to. I'm heating up my dinner right now. It's like 5.38, but I'm gonna have dinner early. I'm honestly just going to turn on something on the TV. Maybe I'll watch some more Modern Family, which I've been binge watching lately. And honestly, just end the night, chill, go grocery shopping tomorrow or Sunday. And yeah, but I think I'm gonna keep vlogging into tomorrow. So. I will honestly just let you guys charge overnight and upload the clips from today. Let you guys charge and pick you guys back up in the morning. So I'll talk to you guys in the morning. Bye. Good morning, everyone. It is almost 11 and we're about to go to the grocery store. I'm dressed and ready. I'm just wearing this two piece set from Gymshark. It's like the running leggings and then I guess just the running matching like half zip or quarter zip in black. I do have this in the mauve like pink color and I was thinking earlier today I was like I could wear that to go watch the Barbie movie unless I like want to buy like something pink to wear because you have to wear pink to go see the movie I just I love that I love that essence that we're in right now but anyway I'm gonna go to Central Market I was thinking about going back to the HEB market but I forgot that Central Market existed and I always forget about it randomly even though it's such a cute grocery store it's like a mix between Whole Foods and an HEB, but it definitely leans more like Whole Foods vibes, <laughs> if that makes sense. But I'm excited. I'm dressed, ready. I just have my little crossbody thing from Bayes. This is like the water bottle sling. And then I just have attached my Fair Bradley double eyewear case with my real glasses and then my sunglasses, which are actually on the counter. Yeah, at my desk. So I'm going to throw those on. But yeah, I'm only dressed in like this it's gonna be hot outside because I know the grocery store is gonna be cold and I hate being cold, especially because I'm gonna be there for like two hours. So I had to choose my battle this morning and I'm gonna wear long sleeves. I just picked up a little four pack of toilet paper. It's a little virgin bamboo pulp toilet paper. I'm just, I'm gonna try it. And then I got a little mini thing of French bread so far. It's the cutest little thing. And then look at this peanut butter. I was just gonna get like the Central Market HB brand, but they were out of the smooth regular. They only had smooth honey, but there's this natural white peanut butter made with olive oil, and it looked cool, so I'm gonna try that. <laughs> I finally found them, the Celsius Cokes. I'm gonna try two because I'm worried that maybe I won't like them, so I think two is a safe bet. And then I got pineapple juice instead of like orange juice for my collagen drinks, just to switch it up. I'm back from Central Market and I'm so excited to show you guys what I got. There's so many like local things there that, honestly, I feel like Central Market has more like, why am I talking to y'all? <laughs> I feel like Central Market has more local items than like HEB, which is like Texas brand grocery store. If you take now, Central Market, I don't know if it's, I mean, they're an extension of HEB. I don't know how that whole thing works, but they're like, they have each other's products because they're like sister companies. But anyway, I am so glad that I went to Central Market today. I just, I didn't get a crap ton. I just, honestly, I stuck to kind of like the basics of my list. Like I know I wanted yogurt. I wanted like a chip or something. I need bread and eggs. I didn't need like a full carton, so I got half and you'll see. But I got this cute little like thermal bag or insulated bag and it's, Honestly, this could be like one little weekly grocery trip in there. It's just that I got like two bottles of wine and kind of tissue paper and things that I really don't get often because usually I just buy my tissue paper in like bulk nowadays. The first thing I got, which I think I even showed you guys in the store. I mean, I don't know if it's like gimmicky, but it's this Pure Virgin Bamboo Pulp um, Toilet Paper, three ply, 300 sheets, four rolls. It just, it's like one of those like better for the environment things. I don't even know. I kind of want to feel it, <laughs> which sounds so funny, but I'm like, is it going to feel different than? Okay. It feels not like my cotton L. <laughs> okay, but it was cute. It was very like better for the environment toilet paper. And it was right there and I need to get some rolls before I ran out because I think only like one left in my thing. And I like to always have like a big amount of toilet paper. 
Next, they were having a sale on these smaller cartons of strawberries, like two for four. But then I went over after I picked two cartons and I saw that they were actually having a sale on the big ones too. So these were like four bucks and I'm like, okay. So I just got this, what, 32 ounce thing of strawberries, which I'm very excited about. I just made you guys so much taller because the camera was not working. It was way too short. And the way it stacked, very unsafe but the next thing i got is this peanut butter it's the natural way peanut butter made with olive oil in the original it says no sugar added and never palm oil so just good old peanut butter i needed some for my apples you guys know i love my fuji apples and peanut butter and then i also got these reusable produce bags and i decided to use them it came with like a five pack and they're actually like really thick and nice i like this so i got some organic bananas I haven't had bananas in a while, so I grabbed some of those. And then, I think these are my mangoes. Yes. I got two large mangoes, which I don't think they're ripe just yet, but they looked really good in the big pile, so I grabbed those too. And then let me make sure I don't throw away my reusable bags because they're in the paper one. Gia wants this, so here you go. Because Jinx has that really big box. He's now laying in it, so I was like, okay, Gia, you can have your that little bag that she loves. Next thing I got in the reusable one, I got these Zach's Mighty Organic Tortilla Chips in nacho flavor. I'm thinking they'll be like healthy Doritos. I don't know, but they didn't have any Doritos. So I was like, okay, let's, let's get these. And then I got this mini little French country French bread from the bakery. Just so stinking cute. It came wrapped like this already, but there were other like bread. I will say that is like the bakery. I know I was saying like the HB Market and the HB I go to, like it has a cute bakery. The Central Market Bakery is a bakery, like very cute. And then I got these Lakeshore organic eggs. I just got six, so just half of the dozen. Like, I mean, honestly, I should, probably should have just got a full dozen, but I really didn't need eggs. I just was. I'm just so used to getting them every time I go to the store. So I'm like, mm. and then I got this chocolate, which was super random. It was just at checkout. It's a Theo organic salted almond, a 45% milk chocolate chocolate bar. I just thought it'd be nice to snack on. I love chocolate with almonds. I thought it was oat milk because I've been seeing like oat milk flavored chocolate come out. And I really, not flavored, but like made with oat milk. And I really want to try some. So I need to like hunt for that. Then I got these organic Campari tomatoes. It says it's a cross between like a cherry tomato and a Roma tomato or like a plum tomato. So I figured I'd get these for my like egg scramble in the morning since I love doing tomatoes and onion in them. And then my onion should be, yes, in this one, I just got one small organic red onion and then two Fuji apples because I have one at home, one or two. Oh gosh. Anyway, I got that because I got other fruit. So I only got two Fuji apples because I have two mangoes and a big thing of strawberries. So I got two Fuji apples, two bottles of wine, which they were having a like sampling of a few wines. I tried this. It's the Riley's Lookout Sauvin Blanc and I liked it. And it was on sale instead of being like $20, it was like nine. So I got two bottles of that. Next we have some yogurt. I wanted to try some new Greek yogurt and they had a bunch. They have like so many options even compared to like the larger HB, because the larger HB that I'm talking about, it's bigger than the market one, but it's not like a huge superstore HB. It's like a cross between the market and maybe like a bigger one, like in between that. Cause I just, like I said, big grocery stores overwhelm me. So that's why I usually like things like Whole Foods, Central Market, the small HB market, or that like mixed one that I go to, but I just, I can't do like super centers. For some reason, it's too overwhelming. But anyway, I digress. I got the Esti. The Art of Greek Yogurt Strawberry, and then I got Vanilla and Cherry. All three of these are whole milk yogurt. Like I mentioned before, I think whole milk Greek yogurt is like my thing. Because the low fat or no fat, I mean, they're good, but I like the full... Oof. Here is the like actual reusable pack. I have one left because I used four today. And then I found these, which I showed you in the store, the Celsius Cola, which I'm super excited to try. Don't think I'll have it today, maybe like tomorrow or before the gym or something, but I got two. And then I got the Elmhurst Oat Milk Creamer in French Vanilla. I will say for oat milk creamers, they don't have many options. It's like this one and the unsweetened version and everything else is like just 
real milk or like coconut cream and I'm like mm. even for almond milk they don't have a lot but you guys know I don't really like almond milk creamers so I just got this boring vanilla which I will try today because I want to have a coffee and the last thing I got which I don't know why I'm so excited for but I thought I was going to do just the regular orange juice or like the pineapple juice that I grabbed in the store but I found this Volman's Family Farm a taste of home fresh squeezed orange juice it says fresh from our farm gustine or gustine texas and apparently if you return the bottle you get two dollars back or something isn't that so cool and it's 64 ounces and i mean it's just i just love the random local things they have there and it's not even random they actually have a lot of local like they have a lot of local like if you drink cow milk they have regular whole cow milk low fat no fat then they also have like um chocolate milk strawberry milk coffee milk like so many granted they're like dairy so i don't i didn't grab any but if you do drink dairy and you have a central market check out well i guess yeah central i don't know if central market's only in texas it probably is i'm sorry if it is and you live somewhere else but if you live in texas and you have a central market and you love like local items check out central market because it's just so stinking cute but like i said i didn't get a lot i didn't get a lot of like meat or anything because i have those fresh meal plan uh, meals in the fridge and I still have like pasta sauce and bow tie pasta so I didn't really need much for like meat wise and that's it and I'm glad I have this little bag I feel like it's perfect I can just keep reusing it it has a little like thing here that's oh my gosh also insulated that's cute I could put my chocolate bar there but yeah super sweet and it was 10 bucks this like it looks nice it zips too <laughs> 10 bucks and then all the bags which i'm gonna make sure this is dry and throw these in here so i don't ever forget them this set of five was ten dollars too and it even has like the drawstring you guys see but it also has this little pocket or i don't know if i i well you could write on it if you wanted to like if you always get the same produce or you could just do like fruit veggies or you could do like potatoes apples but you could write on this if you wanted to but I don't know i like this like the quality of it so far because i've seen other reusable ones that are kind of like a, a thin white mesh which i mean they do the job but i feel like this it feels very like farmer's market -y. like i which i do want to go to i want to go to the pearl farmer market but not on sunday i've gone on sunday before but apparently that's the maker's market on saturday from nine to one they have the farmer's market like what i grew up with or my knowledge of farmer's markets it's like fresh produce meat like things like that Apparently it's every Saturday at nine to about one o'clock and I missed it today, but I think next Saturday I'm gonna try to go and bring you guys with me. Mm -hmm. 